In order to create a purchase order, you must first decide which method you're going to use. One method is to do a suggested items purchase order. To do this, you go to orders, utilities, and you'll have a make purchase order screen come up. When you have items that have a minimum amount that you should keep in stock, they will show up on the view suggested purchase orders. Your first step, once you're in the make purchase orders item menu, is to cl click on view suggested purchase orders. What this shows is the items that we do not have enough items in stock. For example, we only have one of the Type 145HY Cyan toner cartridge. We are supposed to have a minimum of two in stock, and when we reorder, we are supposed to order enough to have four. What this does is it puts all of the suggestions in a list, and then you click the Make Purchase Order button. This will then put in the information section that we have items on order. Once you've created this PO, make sure that you actually complete the order. Another method for creating purchase orders is to do it manually. To do this, you click on Orders, Order Details, and click the yellow plus sign to create a new purchase order. It then asks you if you do want to create a new purchase order, and you click Yes. You choose your supplier. Right now we only have one supplier in here, ISBS, and it provides the information, our contact information there. Then you click on Inventory Items. You select the items that you would like to purchase more of using the drop-downs, and change the standard unit to the number that you want to order. A purchase order number is located at the top. You will need to know this number when you go to put in your items once they have been received. To print a copy of your purchase order, press print and click current purchase order. Always preview your purchase order first. This purchase order shows the item that we would, are ordering, color toner number one, its description, the quantity that we need, okay, and if we had price information in here it would include that as well. Print that to save in the purchase order binder. If we go into Inventory and Browse Item Master, we can now see that we have four Color Toner 1s in stock and four on order. This allows us to see what items we are waiting for.